Alright hostage, so let's finish this up and the first thing we need to do is import a bunch of stuff. Android.view dot view import actually let me pause my video and I'm gonna import everything we need to alright so I imported all the stuff we're gonna need for of course to reference our interface and also to connect now another thing I want to mention is for this last one in order to be able to access that weird little binary class that we made make sure that you import your package name right here and it's just just copy this package whatever it is and then get this class name and then this class name so again package super class binder class alright so now once we do that we can go ahead and actually start writing some code but first let me show my line numbers and give myself some space to write alright so the first thing we need is of course my service object and I'm just going to name this Bucky's service and this is just a reference to this class right here now another thing I want to do is I want to make a variable called is bound so eventually we're going to be testing is this client bound to a service and by default of course since we didn't bind it yet we're just gonna start it off as false and whenever we bind we're gonna set it as true and that's just so we can check the state of our what's it called like bindedness or whatever and I want to delete all these because I hate these extra comments and you guys will be able to read all the important code easier let me tighten this bad boy up alright so the first rule is whenever we want to bind to a service we need a service connection class now what this class is going to be responsible for is it's pretty much going to say okay when you bind to the service what do you want to happen and when you disconnect from it what do you want to happen so again those are the two two things that we're going to need to stick in there but first we need that class so after all of your methods give yourself some space in private service connection and you can name it anything you want I'm gonna name mine Bucky's connection again this is gonna be the class that's responsible for binding to some kind of service so again set it equal to new service connection and make sure you add your semicolon right there and as you see whenever we created it it auto completed all of the stuff that we need to have in it again this is really simple on service connect this says what do you want to happen when you try to connect on service disconnect okay whenever you disconnect from the service what do you want to happen so I know it's a lot of code but it's really easy to understand so whenever we try to connect to a service all we want to do is we want to reference this binder subclass and then it pretty much takes it from there so if we go to my local binder and then we can just name it binder or something and we set this equal to my local binder service let me finish straighten up this one last line of code alright so bucky service set it equal to binder dot get service and we'll change that is bound variable to true alright so what did I just write and what does this all mean so all this is right here is a reference to my local binder in other words that binder class that we wrote last time now once we have access to that class we're gonna call the method get service so we know what that does and all get service is gonna do is it's gonna allow us access to this class so we can use all of the cool methods in there now that takes care of the connection and just for housekeeping checking and stuff I'm gonna set is bound equal to true because that means okay we are now bound to a service pretty stinking sweet now of course you guys already know what's gonna happen here one line of code whenever we disconnect from that service or um, you know get booted out for some reason we're just gonna change this to false easy enough so now what I want to do is I want to go up to on create right here 
and whenever we create this activity that's when we want everything to start so just like before we're gonna make an intent called I set it equal to new intent and all right so this is our intent this is what we intend to do my service dot class now check this out this is where things get a little bit weird now instead of just starting the intent which would be for a normal intent remember we want to bind to this we want to connect to the service that's the whole point of this tutorial so if we call a method called bind service this is a built-in method that allows us to bind to something and the parameters it takes are your intent where is it located the second one is Bucky's connection so the second parameter it takes it has to be an object from the service connection class so that's why we just couldn't like stick this code anywhere else because this method to bind to service it requires an object from this specific class alright now one last parameter wow that is definitely ignore security that didn't sound good so context why can I not type today bind auto create so again you guys already know what this does right here I already explained it no need to explain it again so the last thing that we need to do is you're probably scratching your head and you're like alright so this looks good and all but okay we're connected to this and then we get the time but how the heck does it show because I know that we had this button right here and it called a method show time so um shouldn't this like app do something useful like implement that method so yes let's just go ahead and do that right now so again this is the easy part public void I'm gonna start my emulator right now All right, all right, all right. Get out of my way. Could get out of my way. Thank you. All right, so public void show time. This is going to be the main method responsible for actually showing the time. And string current time set equal to Bucky's service. All right, move that out of the way too. So Bucky service get current time because remember once we take care of all of our housekeeping stuff this Bucky service is essentially going to be a reference to this class and it's going to allow us to access all the methods in here which should look at that little gem get current time so after this of course we just need to update that time on the screen so text view Bucky's text and set it equal to text view on view by rdr dot id dot Bucky's text and of course now that we have a reference to it we can just call set text and the current time is going to be current time pretty sweet so there we go and now let me just wait for my emulator to start up actually I forgot to pass my views along there all right so hopefully cross your fingers I'm gonna click this and check it out it now is connecting or binding to the service which is returning the time and displaying it on the screen so whenever I click it it calls it again so remember this end is six seconds click it again 11 pretty stinking awesome so that ladies and gentlemen at is how you create a bound service in other words how you can create an activity that can communicate to your service technically it's called a client communicating or binding to your service but whatever I don't give a F alright so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video